morning guys today is saturday 14th i just woke up it's around 8 a.m in the morning so i'm gonna go ahead and take a pregnancy test or an ovulation test to see what's going on today so yeah It has three tips. Two, three, four, five. Is that the issue today? So, I have to wait for three to five minutes for me to read the results. I have been feeling like tired. Like I feel like I'm not getting enough rest and um, I am feeling lightheaded, like headaches. And my stomach has been kind of like I'm, I want to have diarrhea. TMI. Yeah, but it's feeling like it's swelling. Like stomach upset, but I'm not really doing anything. Oh, mouth cramps. I think four days ago, I had like light pain on my left side of the abdomen. It was like a sharp pain. So yeah, I'm waiting for three minutes right now so that I can read the results. And um, on Monday, I have an appointment with the OBGY in about you know just to go over everything how everything is going if everything is good if i'm back on track because my app said i was supposed to have my cycle was supposed to start yesterday on the 13th but today is the 14th i haven't started nothing yet maybe we'll give it another you know a couple of days so maybe to start end of the month because now we're in october so yeah, we'll see. I was looking forward to studying my cycle because that's a good sign because I can track my ovulation so that, you know, 
I can start all over again trying. So I think it's been three minutes. Let me see. So I'm waiting for this to be ready. This is the ovulation you want. I'm waiting for it to be ready. And some of the pee is right here. Testing, guys. Don't throw away your pee because sometimes the test could be invalid. So just keep it until you're done testing. Because one time it happened when I threw away the pee and I started over again drinking water, breathing, and that's so frustrating. So do not throw away your pee until you're done testing. So that's why I keep mine there. Yep, that's why I keep it over there. Yeah, let's go back. I'm gonna check the pregnancy test now. So yeah, I'm still waiting for this one. And okay, so. Yeah, this is what it looks like right now. It's negative after a miscarriage. Yeah, this is so negative. There's one line there. This one. Ovulation test. I just want to make sure that it's really negative. I don't want to have false positives when I start again, when I have my cycle back. So guys, this is the test that I've been taking ever since I had the miscarriage. So is this one on the 25th? It was like positive. The hormones were still there. And this one was a week after. It was slightly positive. Then this one was last week. It's a faint line very faint and this one i don't know if i can see this one yeah this one there's no line at all i'm positive it's negative this one was faint last week 
very thin line very thin and this one negative totally which is good yeah this is what it's looking I'm gonna put them back show you the ovulation tests so I have a book where I insert the ovulation test and the results of the ovulation test there is nothing I'm not ovulating I'm not close to it either Somebody woke up today. Good morning, baby. Good morning. I love you. I love you so much. Did you have a good sleep? You did. I love you. Can I just say good morning? Good morning, everyone. We need to brush our teeth. They stink. They stink. Yucky. Yucky. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Did you boo boo? You stink. You stink. <laughs> okay, y'all. Um, so, I've been tracking my ovulation. Will you sit down, baby, a little bit? I want to show people something. Mm. Ew, what, what? Yes, I want to show people something. So, yeah, this is for today. I've been tracking. And, yeah. Mm. I'm not seeing any day related after miscarriage. So, yeah. And this is a time right here, like I showed you last week, 8 a.m. It is nothing really. Yesterday was super plain. And the other time it showed a little bit right here. I don't know if I did, but yeah. So this is what it's looking like right now. <laughs> Are you okay? 
You wanna give me a daughter? Okay guys, so that's what's going on today and yeah, waiting for my cycle to start Monday, like I said, I'll let you know how the appointment is gonna be. Then yeah, hopefully my cycle starts back up so that you know I can know exactly when to try. Because right now as I've <laughs> I've been ovulated and I've been trying. So yeah, I haven't seen any darker line. It's not really dark. So it's been negative the whole time. For almost three weeks. Yeah, it's been negative. So yeah, hopefully my periods can start you. Know. That's what I'm praying for. I will test again next week. Just in case my periods don't start. I'll retest. I'll be tested every Saturday. So yeah, that's what it is. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. So that you don't miss any of my vlogs. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Love you.